Hey ladies, I am Mindy Saunders and I am a mascara twin and cute Savannah has asked that I come on and just talk about a book that I've read that she actually recommended. She's recommended it a few times and I finally got the opportunity to get it downloaded and I listened to it and I love it. So I know um, that you, some of you have done it as well. So what I want here is for you guys to comment below and let me know what kind of what you took out from the took out of the book because the guy is awesome he goes he talks fast he gives a lot of information and I've actually I'm on this my second round on it now which is kind of fun so just because I loved it so much and I'm here to tell you like the second time I got so much more out of it just from remembering what he said or being like oh yeah, I don't even remember him saying that and just kind of um, just that experience has been kind of fun. Hey Mandy, Mandy's here. She's gonna go ahead and comment as well. She She's read the book as well and loves it, loves it. And we have been promoting it with our team as well. So thank you, Savannah, you're amazing. I have my notes here and I just want to kind of go over what I got out of it and kind of what stood out to me. Um, so uh, one of the first things that really, really stuck out to me is says, don't compete, dominate. And then he goes on to explain, like, quit looking sideways. He says, don't, don't compete. Competing is thinking of, or finding out what other people are doing and trying to do what they're doing and compete with them. Don't. You need to think outside the box, and you need to have your, your goals and your ambitions so much more and reach for those and push for those and just dominate. Dominate your area. He says, when somebody thinks of your product that you're selling, have them think of you. And that is dominating. Um, he goes on to say, it doesn't take money to make money. It only takes energy, effort, and creativity. I loved that because it's, we've always been told it just, it's easier to make money or make money when you have it, which is true. That's very true. But where did those people that are making money from money, where did they start? They started just like each one of us. So with that, it just, you have to just think outside the box. It kind of goes along with what I said about dominating. Think outside the box. Oh, thanks, Savannah. You're so sweet. Um, and just kind of go, go, go from there and just do it with energy, effort, and creativity, those three things. Um, so the 10x rule, what that means. Uh, what, I, what I took from that after hearing all of this, what he had to say, is you naturally think like, where are you comfortable with? Like, when you, with, an, with a direct sales company, you need to reach out to people, right? So in your mind, you're thinking, okay, I'm going to make a goal to reach out to five people a day. And he says, 10x that. 10 times everything. Just go, go, go. He says, when you do that, it's all going to come back five or six times more. So in every, in, a, in, in every aspect of your life, it doesn't even always have to be what, what you do. It could be with your kids. It could be with your relationship with your spouse. Like, you guys, I'm here to tell you, after you read this book, it's going to completely change your mindset in all aspects of your life, not just business. Um, so I love that, love that Savannah has encouraged us all to do this. Um, he says to go above and beyond the moment of average. He says you're looking at your competitors, and they're posting one, sometimes two a day, and that's kind of what we're told to do. He says go past that. He says you need to dominate. You need to go. And uh, he mentions that you might feel like, oh, people might get tired of me or whatever. And he says, don't let your mindset go there. He said, and he gave an example of Coca-Cola. He says, think of Coca-Cola. Do you see it everywhere you go? Are you tired of seeing it? No, it's just they have branded themselves and they have themselves out there so that you see them everywhere you go and they're successful because of that. I love that mindset. Follow up is everything. Following up, even if you have to follow up 20 times, do it. Uh, you'll eventually get that, that client and they'll know that you're there for the right reasons. Um, always say yes, especially when you're starting out. Take every opportunity that you have to promote yourself, to get yourself out there. He says if you do that and, cons and you're consistent with that, there will be a day that comes when you have to say no because you can't be in two places at once. But he says until you're there, you say yes to every opportunity you have. Um, he goes on to say successful people traits are the can-do attitude, I'll figure it out, I'll find someone who will, and to answer, if you don't know an answer when somebody asks you, you respond with great question, let me look into it. I love that, I'm actually putting that all up on my board. 
um, success is overcoming a challenge. Uh, I really like this chapter because he he says that successful people they like challenges. They they feed off challenges. They look for challenges. They love the feeling that they get when they have a challenge and they overcome it. And he says that is the definition of success. And successful people push for those. They don't ever let those set let things like that set them back or it just almost like drives them more to go and go and go. Um, and then to end here, he asks, are you passionate about what you're selling? So you all need to ask yourself that. Are you truly passionate about mascara? And if you are, show that you are. Do everything in your power to go Facebook Live, to talk to everybody you know. Uh, just go, 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 go. 10 exit, 10 times it. Put yourself out there and just show people that you're passionate about it because they will see they can read that when you be genuine when you're genuine about something like that they will read it and then it will all come back they'll want to buy your product they'll want to join your team all of that so anyway like i said the second time here i put on audible and i drove to boise and back that was the first time and you guys that five hour trip well 10 hour total i think the book's actually 11 hours if you put on audible it felt like 20 minutes mandy would call me on the phone she's like How's your drive? I'm like, it's good. I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. I got to listen to this book, you guys. It was so empowering to me. And because it was, I've, I'm now on round two. I'm almost done with round two. And like I said before, it's just so much information. The guy's very passionate when he talks and it just kind of wraps you in and you just want to be better. And it's, it's your whole mindset in everything and every aspect of your life. So hopefully this helps someone. And again, I want you guys to comment below. Um, let me know if you're if you haven't read the book and if you have any questions and then we can all just kind of engage on this post here So thanks Savannah for the opportunity. We love you. Bye